Hi, my name is Cindy Lai. I'm a personal trainer and fitness instructor here to help you train smarter and move better. Do you suffer from tight hips? Do you know that prolonged periods of sitting can tighten up your hip flexors, possibly turn off your glutes, contribute to poor posture, lead to low back pain, possibly knee pain? It decreases blood circulation to your legs, and as a result, you can suffer a wide variety of issues. Today, I'm gonna to go over the 90-90 stretch. And just freestyle, you might have seen different versions online, but we're going to work around to see what works for you. Before you start this, I would recommend you doing a warm up for your hips. Don't just go right into it, especially if it's tight. So I like to start against the wall. You can hold on to any wall. You're going to turn your left foot out. You're going to swing your right leg in, okay? In, you have to turn the left foot out. In and out, in and out. Keep the right leg straight. Just nice and easy, do about 10 swings. Okay, make sure you breathe. It's really important. Even when you're doing mobility and stretching, you have to warm up. Otherwise, you can pull something very easily. Let's do the other side. So turn that right foot out. Okay, you're gonna swing the left leg in and out. Okay, think about the out motion, driving out through the hip. Okay, let's do a few of those. Okay, make sure you breathe. And again, this is a very shortened version. Now you're gonna place your hands on your hips, keep your legs slightly bent, and just circle your hips around. If you get really tight, often with your hips, reverse other way around, try to get up as often as you can. They say every hour. I say even more often than that, every 20, 30 minutes, you know, just to release your posture. All right, shake it out a little bit. So we're gonna come down to seated position on the floor. You're gonna start, I'll show you this way so you can see it. You can bring your feet forward, probably wider than uh, hip width apart, depending on your range of motions. You're going to place the hands behind you. Okay, make sure you keep your back straight. So play around with the arm position. So take your toes off the floor. You're going to turn to the right side, placing, this is the front leg, the right knee, and the left leg. You're going to make a 90 degree angle. You might have to adjust. If you're not used to this, you'll have to adjust. And one side's going to feel different than the other. All right, when you get to that side, try to see if you can walk yourself forward, but try to keep your back straight. Keep the abs engaged. And again, go gentle, go easy. I'm tight on this side, so I don't have, I have limited range. And just walk yourself to the left. See how far you can go while maintaining that flat back. And again, also play around with your leg position in the back too as well. I know there's different variations. So for you, it's really important to find what works for you because your body is going to look different from mine. All right, keep the foot flexed and see how far you can walk back. So nice and easy because this is also, will affect your lower back as well too. You just walk back and forth to the right, to the left. Okay, keep driving your right knee down towards the floor, also your right shin. You can place your left, uh, left hand on top of your right leg and you can, a few times, just lean forward, keeping that back flat and then inhale, coming back up. I like to place my hands on the floor, especially if you don't have that kind of mobility. I know in other variations, they might do it without, but let's just go easy, nice and simple. So again, just nice and easy, breathe into it, keep your back straight and then exhale, come back up. So do that a few times. And again, go light, go easy. Just because we're working on mobility does not mean that you try to force it. Your body may not respond very well to that. Okay. Do a few of those as you come back up. You're going to turn to the other side. So how do we turn to the left side? Okay, keep the right knee on the floor. You're going to keep that left foot back behind you on the floor. Lift that left knee up pressing the toe down, place the left arm back behind you. As you lift up, this is external rotation of the hip. Lift the right leg, follow, come back to the center. Okay, and then this time you're going to repeat it on the other side. So place that left knee down towards the floor, right knee goes back. I'll try to turn to this side so you can see, all right? And again, one side is going to feel different than the other. The idea is to make 90-90 
90 degree angles with both legs. All right. And again, this time you're going to drive the left knee down towards the floor, left knee, left foot. And again, gently press that left knee and shin down to the floor. Keep your back straight, lean forward. You're gonna walk over to the right and then walk back to the left. And again, if anything doesn't feel right, adjust. I mean, I have to adjust too as well. So again, you should feel a little bit of discomfort, but nothing where it's painful. Walking back and forth, again, trying to keep that back straight. Yeah, do this a few times. I would recommend doing this a few times, going back and forth. And then once you're done with that, try to center yourself over your leg and you can lean forward. You can keep your hands down on the floor and just lean forward, breathe into it. Again, gently pushing your knee and your foot to the floor. Exhale, come back up, relax. And again, so exhale, use your hands to help assist you. And inhale, relax. And one more time, exhale. And inhale, relax. All right, so come back to the center. And again, you can, you know, even to warm up, you can place your hands behind you. Just to get used to the position, you just go side to side, just nice and easy. All right. And again, this is something simple you could do to open up your hips. And it's not only your hips we're talking about. You can also, this will also affect, you know, how tight your lower back is. This can loosen up your lower back. You can loosen up your knee pain. So whatever you're dealing with, I would definitely couple it with other exercises as well too and not just this one particular exercise so i hope you guys enjoy this have a great one we'll do this in my mobility class tomorrow have a great rest of the day thank you